Thank you for this tremendous honor. I am humbled to have been nominated, much less chosen to receive this award. Thank you to Dean Perry Halkidis, to the awards committee, and to Dr. Mitchell Rosen for the nomination. Maybe most importantly, thank you to the School of Public Health, not just for this award, but for setting the stage for our careers and success. Congratulations to all of you who have completed the requirements for your degrees and done so during the most challenging of public health events. I have spoken often about the public health challenges of 9-11 and Amerithrax in 2001, but they pale in comparison to COVID-19. So kudos to all of you for persevering to achieve your degrees under very trying conditions, and thank you to the faculty and staff who helped make that possible. I tried to organize my thoughts into a compelling and inspiring message, and I hope to honor my wife, the children's librarian, and my father, the professor, by using an ancient, uniquely human construct to convey my thoughts, stories. Public health traditionally communicates using science and data, but this often leads to our messages being lost. We need to promote ourselves and our discipline by telling the world what we do, why we do it, and expressing our importance and value. And I propose we do this through the merging of art and science. So with that in mind, let me tell you a few short stories that I hope will inspire and encourage you to tell your stories and advance our field of public health. A long, long time ago, there was this fairly introverted high school boy. He worked hard at school and enjoyed music. His work was ultimately rewarded with good grades and his being named lead trumpet player and soloist, only his shyness often resulted in choking, literally, until friends and teachers ultimately helped him overcome his fears. This boy went on to be a pre-med student here at Rutgers University, but he soon realized that music and other activities such as being outdoors and an interest in classical humanities, would have to be sacrificed to go to medical school. So he double majors in biology and classics and abandons the idea of medical school. As a result, he eventually finds himself studying archeology span and classics in Greece, but without his luggage and research documents and not able to speak the language, except a dead version that no one understands. Again, he needs to overcome his challenges and does, but not without the help of family, classmates, and the staff of the American School of Classical Studies. Along his journey, he learns there are ways other than medical school to provide for the health and safety of people. He spends years as a lifeguard, becomes an emergency medical technician, and ultimately becomes chief of one of his local, of his local rescue squad. During his 20 years of emergency medical service, some lives were lost, but many more were saved because of a dedicated team of individuals working together with a passion to help others. When he is graduated from Rutgers, he starts looking for a job as a naturalist. He answers an ad in a newspaper for an environmental officer and ends up working at a small local health department without having any knowledge of public health. That was in 1985, and I am still employed by that same small health department that sent me back to Rutgers to get my master in public health. Over the past 35 years, I have developed a passion for public health and learned a little bit about what public health is and what we can accomplish. Because of the efforts of many, I have grown from that shy boy to the public health professional I am today. I have learned the value of public health and that the opportunities are boundless. I never imagined I could be president of the National Association of County and City Health Officials or that I would be invited to the White House for a coronavirus meeting. I have learned that public health, like life in general, is a team sport, and it takes all of us to accomplish great things. The current coronavirus experience has truly made me understand the value of these connections. Let me give you two quick examples. Early on in the New Jersey experience, I was able to reach out to colleagues in Washington State, learn from their firsthand experiences, and inform the New Jersey response. On a per more personal note, my father recently died in New Jersey. His wishes were to be buried in Kentucky. Although he did not have COVID-19, the fact that he died during the pandemic resulted in many challenges. My public health connections across the country allowed those challenges to be resolved. I tell you this vignette because you have made and developed connections here at Rutgers. Foster and nurture those relationships, but do not stop there. As you go forth with your public health careers, I encourage you to seek out and create new relations. 
you have no idea how valuable and comforting they will be. I choose to tell these stories because I hope they provide some lessons and inspiration. If I can do this, you certainly can. In 1859, Charles Dickens wrote a famous novel that starts with words particularly relevant to public health. He states, quote, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. It was the age of wisdom, it was the age of foolishness. The book addresses issues that are particularly relevant today, such as equity and disparities. Public health has seen the worst of times. Now we need to use our wisdom to create the best of times by capitalizing on this incredible public health response, promoting and advertising our efforts and impact, and combating the foolishness by working tirelessly to promote equity and eliminate disparities in the populations we serve. I was able to merge my early desire to help people with my love of the environment into this amazing profession, and I was able to combine my love for both the sciences and the arts to improve the health of populations. We must never forget that science and art are entwined and to use them both to our advantage. Each step on my journey was supported by a team of family, friends, and colleagues, which ensured my successes. Build your team and enjoy your success. Use art and science to make our world better and proudly tell your public health stories. Public health professionals are the most focused, driven, and passionate people I know. And to be amongst all of you is an award in itself, but I thank you again for this honor. I and your community thank you for what you are about to do to create our best of times.